his home away from home. All right, no shower today. No time. Screw it. If I smell, they'll complain. Ten very distinct personalities. Cautiously commingle. Do you shave that sucker every day? Not all the time. Yet the youngest in this makeshift family. He's 20. Freaking what, three? Refuses to mince words. I just feel real lucky that, you know, I turned out to be heterosexual. You know what I'm saying? I do. It's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I know you didn't realize it, but like, like, yay, thank God I'm straight. It's like, thank God I'm white. Woohoo! I've always gotten off in shock, Billy. He like knows everybody's He question. knows everything. Smart and self-confident. I have a high IQ too. Borderline cocky. Why are gay men very into their own and other people's looks? Because men like visual stimulation. Chris refuses to become a gay cliché. Yet he makes no apologies whatsoever about his sexuality. You have to kind of write off a lot of people if you, you know, want to be openly gay. As early as I can remember it, I've never had any question about the fact that I was attracted to men. I kept it a secret for 20 years. I sat them down like, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. I had the whole talk like, you did nothing wrong, and there's nothing wrong with me, and hope you can accept that. If he's been out since he's like 20, so it's like he's been out for like three years. He's a three-year-old. This year, as part of my birthday present, got me a lighter. I don't smoke, but uh, lighter it says, tight butts drive me nuts. <laughs> and it's one of those things like, this is how I know my family loves me. I listen to him and I'm, and I'm thinking, God, you had it. It just seems like you had it so easy. Yet easy, Chris says, is all relative. All I want to do, find a man, settle down, and I'm happy. Unlike past generations of gay men, Chris refuses to live his life in the shadows. How do you ever expect society to change unless they see this kind of thing out there? Unless they see two men together, like it's always gonna be shocking if it's always something taboo. His peers, however, aren't necessarily lining up to follow his lead. Because I was out with my boyfriend and he saw one of his coworkers. He's like, well, my friends at work don't know, nobody at work knows. And he turns to me and says, stay here, be good, as in, don't, go, don't talk to this guy and don't you dare tell him that you're my boyfriend or anything like that. You can't live your life in fear. I don't care if I'm sitting there like some you know, bar in Lincoln Park. I won't hesitate to you know, put my hand on his shoulder and like, rub him. It weirds him out if we're not like sitting at a table or something like, or like shake my hand away, but it doesn't stop me from doing it. A lot of people may think it's gross and some people, maybe me, maybe get beaten up, but it, it's probably what it's going to take you know, before they see us like everyone else. It's one of those things that, like, basically, if you're at some level of shame in this relationship, I don't see how it could last. Things like that would be so, so very yeah. difficult. I couldn't be with nobody that was ashamed of me. Not even. Not ever. Well, it's the same, same old story over and over again. Because so many gay men and women do live and love in secret. Several of the straight housemates confess. I don't understand gay relationship. Especially Jennifer. Honest to God, I came in here thinking that lesbians just have had a bad experience with men. To be completely honest, I don't know any. You know two of them. That's right. <laughs> I'm a happily married woman. Now, my wife is gorgeous. Your wife? Uh, $15,000 wedding. Oh my god. Did you guys like book wear dresses? How did I think that it's an attention getting device. She's about a size seven. She's got long, beautiful hair. Dio's face lights up when she talks about her wife. She likes you because you look like a woman. Right. Like you are my long brown hair. Right. And, and you my wear eyes makeup, are you wear attractive. You're attractive. Right. And I just, I don't think it would last. As the days pass, the walls begin to come down. Now that she's met me and Andrea, you know, she's open-minded enough to see, okay, then maybe there's something more there, too. I thought it was you guys just wanted to have If I kissed anybody else, women. I'd be cheating on my wife. Yeah. Really. But I never but knew. We're sharing stories with her and our experiences with her. You guys are more than just sex. It's love. It's loving another woman. For me, I never knew that. Jennifer's opened up her eyes a little bit. I, I like that in her. I was shocked at how fast I was able to see it from their perspective. I'm like 60% there. To help her with the other 40%, Dio shows the housemates a video of her wedding. I just was like, this is going to be something else. Is it going to be a freak show? Or, you know, like, what is this going to look like? We just vowed to love each other for the rest of our lives. I'm just having the time of my life. This is my baby girl. Dio's wedding, beautiful. I've never seen two people so in love. I'd like to have that Sunday where she has. I almost cried watching her video. I would definitely go to a wedding like that. I wouldn't have a problem supporting that or celebrating for it.
And as for Jennifer... Oh my God, that is like love. That's not, you know, let's have a wedding and put on dresses and be obnoxious. They were truly in love with each other. I was shocked. They look so natural. I'll go to my grave remembering what I felt when I watched that. I like you that. You're my girl. girl. This is my yeah, girl. Right here. It's not recognized as legal at all. But we did this to show the world, hey, this is my soulmate. Still, Dio has asked that we not identify her wife. The couple has a young child. And they fear he might be harassed. If people didn't feel the way they feel, this, this, this wouldn't even be an issue. You know, sometimes we get a raw deal. And you can't After several days of being cut off entirely from the outside world, the housemates receive an unexpected pick-me-up from a loved one. Oh, yeah. I miss you so much. I'm waiting patiently for you to get home. Yet Chris must settle for a few words from a friend. His boyfriend has declined to send a message. I knew he wouldn't write. Still too paranoid. Last night he had a hard time and he was crying on the patio. Just wondering about my unfulfilling life. Yeah, I cried all night. Ooh.